Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex here, aka Exclusively Lex with Title Race. We're here giving you a quick look at Mushroom Wars 2. Um, pretty much as you can see, we're going to go ahead and play a three-man three, three -man custom game. We have myself, it's John, and Colin. I'm on the red, so as you can see the way on the bottom, I'm the one clicking the mouse. Uh, real quick, you, you pretty much start off with uh, 100 little minions, and then it's your job to capture the gray areas, as you can see. I'm moving my, my minions all the way to the left. Um, you can start off by moving 25, 50, 75, or 100 minions uh, at all times, however you choose. The first ones that you kind of see where I'm clicking that are turning red, those are just, uh, they, they create, they create like uh, minions. As you can see, I'm right clicking on them and just going ahead and pressing the um, the up arrow. What that does is it actually, it upgrades the actual mushroom so you can go ahead and have more minions on your side. As you can see, the other uh, my other, the people I'm playing against, they're deciding to go kind of go ahead and choose their areas as well. Some of them upgrading, some of them are not. Um, and then as you can see, I'm just going ahead and moving more because the more people you have in a certain location, the harder it is for people to go ahead and take your space but you also need a certain amount of minions in order to actually upgrade those locations so as you can see some of them took five they need to 10 and then uh some so on and so forth and then in order to actually make that happen you need to have minions in there so i go ahead and actually move minions there so as you can see now i'm moving minions to what the little castle that's gray that's shooting me it's attacking me and it but it, and it tells you 23 like in a cloud like in the white cloud that tells you how many minions you have to pretty much move in there in order to actually take over this location and saying hey there's, there's so many minions here you got to be careful take them off as you can see now i'm going to go ahead and pack it in and i immediately hit that upgrade button to try to go ahead and take it away from <laughs> somebody else so they don't they can't actually come in and, and hit me so one thing you want to do is you want to put padding on it so that they cannot take that away from you because if you only have 18 minions there and somebody comes in and takes it away from you they kind of puts more minions there as you can see he, he did a whole rush of people there he put a chain power which means you, you can you can kind of do that um you have powers at the bottom as you can see q w e and r he uses chain power so my my actual mushroom doesn't do any any beams but even though he's moving so many people there i have like 30 40 like almost i had almost 200 people there so he can't actually do anything so as you can see he's he's moving more and more people but because i have so many people already being created by the other mushrooms i can easily just move it over so it's like not an issue um, so the best bet I, in any strategy when you're playing this game against other people is just create, 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 create minions over and over and over again so you can never run out of them. The good thing is I upgraded my my actual minion creation tool so that way I have so many. As you can see the orange guy on top though, he actually ended up creating and turning the actual t a tower into something else, more of a capacity engine. You can actually do that. And as you can see, I'm like, I'm still moving like all the ones that are being created are moving to the front lines and then I go there and I actually create another tower in order to defend those front lines so they can't easily come in and move more people. Um, so as you can see, he's trying to move more and more people into the area. The area. And again, my, the fact that I have so many of these mushrooms creating more and more people, that means that they can't have more. Um, as you can see at this point, like all my mushrooms stop creating. And the reason that is, is because I have uh, almost 400 minions um, in that one tower. And in order for you to be able to create more, you have to take over more locations and actually take over more spots and of course as some of them you know they you know they die and stuff like that you are able to create more but if if it's already at the maximum of 400 then you can't create more at all as you can see here i made a quick rush to, to take over that tower in order to gain over the middle ground as you can see he's also he's trying to he's attack me there but i use my e to push his people back um and then i'm just moving people into the spot as you can see once my people died i was able to start creating more and more minions and then just push it forward push it forward and they're not able to control and they're not able to take over my spot as much people as they send as many people as they try to send they cannot take over the spot because of the fact that i have more and more minions coming through so that's exactly what you want to do you want to make sure that you have minions being created all times at the maximum level so that nobody i mean nobody can take away any of your spots you can control any spot that they come through as you can see he's trying more he's trying hard um to flank me the orange guy is trying hard to flank me through the other side but i'm just moving more and more people everywhere there's nothing absolutely they can do as far as like my minion dominion because <laughs> that's exactly what it is being able to pretty much control the round and control everything that i can at this point it's just a waiting game as you can see i have like my location here just pretty much covered it all like i have the two turns in the middle just attacking them i have my one turn in the middle i'm protecting my mushroom creators like my little mini creators and it's just 
pretty much at this point, it's just a waiting game for them to be able to go ahead and actually see if they can try to beat me. As you can see, he tries another rush, but he can't. I'm just sending more and more people. I have 180, 180 people there. I have 88 in the other one, but he's trying to attack this one spot, but he can't. He's trying to send more and more. He's trying to send an army, but look at me. I'm just replenishing as much as I can, but also at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on the orange side, making sure that he cannot attack me whatsoever. Because we never, remember, the one thing you can never do is lose and pay attention, like stop paying attention to everything else going on around you. He, as you can see, he used one of his power ups on the other minion where he actually gives you, um, brings you more and more people into the place. And he's trying to attack me by bringing more people, but he still can't do anything about it. Because again, key having everything create as much as he can. As you can see here, he took, he quickly took over because I wasn't paying attention, but I quickly just sent more and more people to go ahead and take over the spot. And then I said, Hey, I gotta replenish it. Let me go ahead and upgrade it as well. Because once it gets taken over, it gets downgraded. So once you take it over, you gotta quickly upgrade it again just to make sure. And while he was down and kind of looking at me, I sent more people to attack his place and try to take over it. As you can see, it was a failed spot. Um, once you, uh, the, the only bad thing is you can't see how many minions are in a certain location. So if you're going to attack somebody, you got to make sure you send as much as you can because you never want to send something that's maybe one less, which means you can't win it all. As you can see, they had another battle there on the left. But oh, patient game. I'm just waiting for them to kind of create more, load up more. And then I see that I have a lot of my turrets. So I'm gonna, as you can see later on, I'm gonna move a lot to my turn in the middle. But then those turns, those two turns in the middle that I have, um, 100 and 200, I'm gonna get rid of some of those and then move them over. <laughs> Let me go ahead and fast forward this a little bit for you guys, so you guys can go ahead and see exactly how much of left and how much movement is left. Um, but pretty much, it's gonna end in in a, in a win for me because of that simple tactic. Take over the mushroom spots in the middle in the, be in the beginning uh, to create more minions. Go ahead and upgrade them as, as fast as you can without the enemy coming to you. Because at the end of the day, when you if you have more minions, they can't do anything. Obviously, you try to get everything that's around your area and try to control it so that they can't do anything about it. Because you don't want to just control one spot only, like, like do only two mushrooms. Because even though they're creating, if he has three mushrooms, he's going to create more than two mushrooms, of course. Um, obviously, even if you upgraded them, he can upgrade his as well. So you always got to remember that. So let me go ahead and fast forward that here for you guys so you can see the rest of the match. I quickly took over the spot for orange because he got overwhelmed and green pretty much just surrendered minion dominion That's my main tip for mushroom wars to get out there and win some games. Thank you guys so much. Take care